anytime I do anything unique uh, in terms of a design, uh, I just post it. Um, I came up with this one, and literally, it's made out of one of these guys. This, the foam in this is actually good for these small aircraft guys. Buy yourself some fries, build an airplane. Great deal. Uh, that being said, they're not going to be that strong, but I've done some things here. For one, I've installed VGs all on the front, and they're actually nicely rounded. Like, they actually have a nice shape. They're equal, both sides. Um, the tail is pretty unique. So let me just show you that. But straightforward, nothing fancy or special. It dynamically balances and CGs, like, perfectly where it's supposed to, uh, which is really nice. It's, it's actually really nicely balanced. None of these are drilled into the rod, and this is a 3.5 mil rod. This is not the bigger rod I've been using for the other aircraft. Uh, it totals at 18.18 with the motor and prop and gear reduction on it. So after that, all that's going to be needed is the weight of the battery and the basic uh, controls. So it's it's actually going to come in right around what I was saying for a beginner plane, 23, 24 grams. But this is not a thrown glider. Um, this is the other thing where I'm <coughs> planning on having it with a prop. Now, with this prop and gear reduction and the battery I'm going to use, I had launched it this way. We're just kind of holding it and put everything on just to see what would happen and if it felt like it had enough lift. <coughs> and I had to turn it off because it was climbing. Um, and that was with an aircraft that weighed a good deal more than this. Um, this one is so feather light, guys. It's it's easy to build. It didn't take me long. Uh, there's just a little trimming involved and you cut these guys out. And if you look carefully, you can see my tail came from here. Okay. Um... Everything that's here is been used, essentially, on this uh, tin. In fact, my tail came from here. My wings came from here and here. And then uh, I used one of the sides for the other control surface. Now, at that point, I still have some of the material left, um, as you can see here. So if my tail were to get damaged, I could at least repair that. Um, and of course you can't just glue this stuff back together. <coughs> anyway, because this is kind of a unique one, I thought I'd show it to you guys and let you see it. Uh, I did bend this leading edge down a little bit to give it a tiny little bit of a lift profile, uh, more than it would have had. And these are also bent down quite nicely. It's got a nice lift moment and it's balanced very well. It should fly very well, guys. Uh, because of all that, I decided to share it. Uh, I am probably going to round these off a little bit more and make it more like, um, originally I was basically thinking of doing, uh, a couple of different wing types and, and I kept thinking about which one to do. Should I do a square? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do a Wilga? Should I do something different? Uh, and I decided that I would try and do a Lancaster. No. <coughs> Close in name, though. A Lysander is what it's called. Uh, and it would have a different shape here. It would have a, a basically a cut here to angle it just slightly this way, and then it angles farther out, but from the other direction. And it's, it's actually a really neat-shaped wing. Uh, but it's also a bit small uh, and, and tends to need a fair bit of speed to stay... Uh, in the air, and its VGs are automatic, and I don't have that, so I just made mine permanent, they're there all the time, but it's the only tiny, small RC one I've seen that actually had the VGs, the problem is it kind of needs them for slow flying, and that's what I want this for, so if you're going to make it a slow flyer, don't be afraid to put VGs on it of some kind, uh, I'm not certainly saying you have to put mine on, but they do work, um, and they're just the little lips off these guys, these little lips, when you trim them, make wonderful VGs. Uh, they give you space to glue on as well. And you can see them right here on the edges of these. These are great. So <coughs> it's like when I looked at that, I saw everything I needed to make my aircraft. All my control surfaces, my VGs, all that. And I just kind of saw what I wanted in my head and started building. Took about 15 minutes to build this, literally. 
Uh, it's nothing but glue gun glue, a pair of scissors, and the motor and gear reduction system. And it's so easy to do, guys. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys this design. So I will just run down for you some basic measurements. And then we'll go from there. <coughs> that I got a cold it's horrible okay so we're looking at just over 11 inches guys 11 and a bit for the wingspan for the actual length from front to back we're looking at just under 10 inches around well, nine and a half in fairness the tube is actually nine and a quarter long or just under, it's actually more like 9.2, 9 point, yeah, right around 9.2. Uh, the depth of the wings is pretty standard. Uh, same with the tail, nothing fancy here. You could make this longer, you could make it shorter, you could experiment with these sizes, guys, and play around for your own purposes so that you can see. Um... I'll just show you the best I can here on the various angles and whatnot. This isn't showing up very well, so I just marked it with my fingertip. Just under two inches. <coughs> and the prop, just so you guys can see that. Is just a little over four inches. So... Uh, that gives you a good idea of what this little guy is. It's pretty straightforward, very cheap, very easy to build, but a good wing profile. Uh, eight mil motor, geared reduction system. Uh, it's the propeller off of uh, a Viper drone that I have modified uh, to increase its lift. And uh, I show the modifications for that in the Viper drone for those of you who are interested in that sort of thing. Uh, the details are there. It's also a good series on teaching you how to uh, upgrade a drone, basically. Some of the considerations that are there and some of the things you might want to try are shown there. I did made a lot of changes to that aircraft. Anyway, uh, so this one's done, and it looks pretty basic, but it, it'll be a good flyer. I'm probably going to trim this down a little more and maybe even trim this up a little more, and then it will be more like the Lysander. Um but other than that, it's basically VGs along the leading edge pretty much all the way, like a Lysander. Um, they would have them that actually go all the way, but I, I didn't want to do that. I didn't see the need. Um, where the prop is, they'll actually, it's actually not going to be making a ton of lift here. It's going to be making all the lift here, increasing as it goes out towards the wingtips, which is actually one of the things I wanted. <coughs> that way it won't get wingtip stalls, and it should coast very nicely. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this one out. I just thought I'd show you my new design. I dub the... I don't know. Uh, I'm not that great with names. I'll think of something. Uh, I know I'm not done yet. I'm really not happy with these lines. I see it in my head, and it's nice and rounded and smooth from that point. So that's what I'll do. Um, this started life much bigger and square, uh, and I modified it and adjusted it until I liked the shape of it. Um... You can see that it's got a rise here in the design of this foam section. It had this natural rise, so I just made use of it. And uh, my ailerons will be in here, um, so it'll be a nice tail. It's got a lift profile. I've angled that forward, <coughs> just like I did here, only it's a much smaller degree there i only did the very tips of it just to give it a very little bit of lift in the tail and it should be a sweet design guys uh, i thought i'd share it and uh well there you go keith out